Okay. These are three drawings on the board, two of which are right. Put that away, please. Are you looking up eudometer? Okay, look it up. Now, these are eudometer tubes. A eudometer tube is simply a tube used in chemistry and physics that is open on one end. Okay, so that's open at one end here that the fluid can flow in or out. And this is sealed. And this is actually a vacuum. This is a vacuum. They're vacuums, okay? Vacuum, okay? You get it? So what happens is this, and you've, you've kind of done this before or seen it done with <coughs> water, where you take a glass of water and you fill it completely up to the top. Yes? Yes? And then you turn it, you turn it, you put your hand on top of it, and you turn it over. Okay? You turn it over. And you put something on the bottom of it. And like a piece of uh, cardboard. And then you simply let your hand go, and the water will stay in the cup, right? Now, there'll be a the water will fall a little bit, won't it? Just a little tiny bit at the top, so you'll be able to see a little tiny bubble of gas as a result of the compression of that water, correct? Yes? Okay. Very little. This is mercury, which is much heavier. You want to write this down. Mercury, the density of mercury is 13.6, roughly, 13.6 grams per milliliter, grams per cubic centimeter. That's the density of mercury. The density of water is 1. So mercury is 13.6 times heavier than water. Why is it heavier? 13, I thought you said the density of water was 13.6. Well. If you have the mass is 13, if you have one cubic centimeter, right, or one milliliter, one gram of water, 13.6 grams of mercury, correct? Multiply both by 10, correct? It would be 10 newtons of water and 130 newtons of mercury. You get it? So it's 10 times the mass and also. Sorry, 13.6 times the mass as well as 13.6 times the weight, correct? Okay, so it's much heavier. If you do the same thing with mercury and you fill a tube with mercury, right? You with me? Okay, and you, the tube has to be greater in height than, has to be greater in height than 760 millimeters. Has to be at least, we'll say it's a meter. Is that okay? A meter long tube. Give me a meter, meter stick, please. Haley, give me, give me a meter stick. All right, so it's a meter long eudometer, right? Now, what I'm going to do is, thank you, I'm going to fill that eudometer. This is a eudometer. This is a glass tube. Do you see that's glass? And that is open on one end and sealed on the other, right? So I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm going to fill it with. I'm going to fill it with mercury, right? I'm going to put my finger over the end of it so that the, the, the mercury can't flow out, correct? Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this in a glass of, of, of a pan of, big pan of mercury, okay? And I'm going to release my finger, correct? Now. Mercury will flow out, correct, because of the weight of the mercury, correct? It will flow out. But yet, the mercury column will be quite high because the mercury can flow in and out of the eudometer, correct? You with me? The atmospheric pressure that presses on the pan of mercury is actually holding the mercury up the column. 100 kilopascals of mercury are pressing down in the pan. Would you say that's correct? Yes or no? Well, that column of mercury will be 760 millimeters of mercury. That's one atmosphere of mercury. 
which is, remember, it should be 101.3. I know people who are going to watch this film aren't up on the new measures. 101.3 kilopascals is actually 100 kilopascals. Now, I think your class told me that last year, remember? We talked about this. Okay, so it's, it's actually one atmosphere is 100 kilopascals. That's what we're saying. We're going to round it to that anyway. And that 100 kilopascals of atmospheric pressure is going to hold that column, what? Hold that column, what? Up 760 millimeters. Let me say one thing about the water. I said that you take the water and you turn it upside down, you put it on a piece of cardboard and it's going to fall. That's untrue. I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. How many people have ever Fill the glass full of water when they're doing the dishes. Take the glass in the water, turn it around, and try to lift it out, and the column of water stays there. Right? Yes? Have you done that? Yes. And then when you pull it out, and we'll, we'll do a little demonstration, hopefully today. When you pull it out, what happens? When you pull it out, the water just falls out, right? Correct? But before it gets to the lid where I would pull it out, before it gets there, what happens? What happens? Oh, this is extended, by the way. What happens before you pull it out? It maybe falls down just a bubble, right? Falls down. The weight of that water pulls it down, right? Just a, just a smidgen, right? Hardly even noticeable. But with mercury, it pulls down quite, quite a lot, doesn't it? Matter of fact, how high would this column be if it were water? How high could that column sustain itself without dropping? In other words, you really can't see it with a glass of water, can you? Really can't. It has to be how tall does that column of water have to be? How many meters tall? What's the equivalent of 760? What's the equivalent of 760? It has to be 10 meters, right? Isn't that what we said? 10 meter box stacked on top of each other. So when you pull the glass up, it's a little bit of a what? It's a little bit of an optical illusion. The, the water is not falling really at all, is it? It won't fall until it's above what? Until it's above what? 10 meters, right? Because that's the pressure. So in other words, 10 meters of water, that's what we started with, correct? Remember? Yeah. 10 meters of water, 10 of those boxes, 100 kilopascals, 100,000, right? Is equivalent to 760, not quite a meter of mercury because it's 13 times more dense, correct? It's 13 times heavier. Do you get that? Okay, now this one here, this one, what does this say? This one says what? That the gas is, has a higher pressure or a lower pressure than the atmosphere. What does this one say? Higher pressure or lower pressure? This gas has a higher pressure than the atmosphere or a lower pressure than the atmosphere. What is it? It's higher. Look, it's, isn't this forcing the mercury down in the tube? What's winning? The gas or the mercury? The gas is pushing the mercury out, isn't it? So the pressure of the gas would be higher, wouldn't it? So the pressure of the gas would be higher. Here's the pressure of the gas. So for this one here, the pressure of the atmosphere is greater than the pressure of the gas, isn't it? Yes or no? Don't let me talk you into this. Yes or no? Yes or no? Is that right? Is that right? The pressure of the atmosphere is pushing the column up, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes or no? Yeah. This one here, the pressure of the atmosphere 
is less than the pressure of the gas. Yes or no? Right? This one, the gas is pushing at. How about this one here? This is all level. How about this one here? They're equal. The pressure of the atmosphere equals the pressure of the gas. By how, by what? By what? By this many millimeters. Why can you call it millimeters? Why is that true? Why is that true? Why is that true? Now this isn't physics class, so I don't want to go crazy with this. I will do this in another class, but the pressure in a fluid, the pressure in a fluid is only dependent upon the density of the fluid and what else? The, the density of the fluid? What else? The density of the fluid and what else? Think about that. Because when I talk about pressure in a fluid, going to become very important. Define for me, Sultan, define for me a fluid. It's a very simple definition. Don't go crazy. It's not some big, amazing science definition. Think of, think of fluids. What are the different types of fluids? What is it? Water is a fluid, good. What else is a fluid? Air is a fluid, very good. What can fluids do that, that solids can't? There you go. That's the definition of a fluid. Is that what you're going to say? Anything that can flow is a fluid. Very good. Okay? You okay with this? Yes or no? Yes. This is mercury, 13.6 13 to, 13 times heavier than water. This is the atmosphere pushing down. This is 760 millimeters. That's one atmosphere in terms of mercury. Clear? Are you with me? 